Hamels Allen. Salvador Gonzalez started with this in 1990. Self-taught artist. When he started, nobody believes in this man. They thought he was a little bit crazy. But you're gonna see the kind of work he has done in his community because they have lots of social problems. And he's been working with the neighbors to beautify uh, their community. You're gonna love it. Outdoor mural, I would like to tell you that there's a whole crowd today because today is the Rumba Day. We have rumba music industry. You know about rumba? The most rhythmically sophisticated, non sacred music here in Kiva, the African soul of Cuban music. We have activity for children and to promote traditional Cuban music, the last Friday. Remember that during the Atlantic slave trade, we're brought here to Cuba between 1523 1873, around 1,300,000 slaves from Senegal until Angola, western coast of Africa, and as a result, around 80 ethnic groups. And as a result, we practice here, still alive, four religions with African roots. The most popular, everybody know about that? Santeria. It is described as a mixture between Catholicism and African religion from Nigeria, but I totally disagree with that definition. Uh. <laughs> I think that naming this religion with that name Santeria is an example that we still have our mind colonized. But anyway, we have another religion, Arara, that came from Benin. We have Reglas de Palomonte, that came from Congo, Angola, and Mozambique, even Mozambique. And we have uh, the Secret Society Abakwa. It's a mutual aid society, just for men, sorry women, my life is cruel. And uh, uh, it's very popular here in Cuba, and the artists of this place, paints inspired by all of them. In his artwork, he's trying to stand for the mysticism of this religion and to promote it as an indispensable part of our identity. Santeria is a very popular religion and it's very practical. It's a religion of here and now. popular permanent installation in this the street. It is for the first time the Cuban history people could see symbols of this religion outside, outdoor. It is inspired by Reglas de Palomonte. Reglas de Palomonte is a religion that has its origins in Congo. It is different from Santeria, but most of the people who are initiated into Santeria are first initiated into the mystery of Reglas de Palomonte. In this case, the center of their worship is the spirit of the dead. Uh, they will achieve the spirit of the dead and they are allowed to send the spirit of the dead to achieve some end. They are allowed to control the spirit of the dead. And in this case, it is inspired by the Nganga. Nganga is a magic receptacle, a magic pot, where it is got an energetical microcosm, where it is gathered the energy of the natural forces embodied in natural elements and the energy of the spirit of the dead embodied in human remains. That's why they are regarded as a witchcraft, male witchers, but the priests of Reglas de Palomonte are the most important healers in this kind of culture and they are just really famous because they are diagnostic skill and urban treatments. Indeed, nowadays there are a lot of people that are doctors and they practice Palomonte or there are a lot of people that they are doctors and when they don't have the answer you know, they send people to see this kind of prince. In Cuba, Santeria and Palomonte are not divorced from science.